So I've been using this note package case from Galaxy Z Fold 3 for more than a week and I have to admit this case is useless. I'm sorry but I have to say it because not only when you open up with the full screen it's the little bit sticks out so I don't know what you're supposed to do with this bit that sticks out. Um, also when you're trying to make a phone call to your friends or your family whatever you want to call it you I don't know whether you're supposed to fold in the back because it suddenly makes the phone really thick or whether you're actually supposed to close it which it's very difficult to train your brain to do this because um, you always want to make sure you monitor your screen but not only that the biggest fail I have to say is that when you're trying to do a selfie shot because of the advantage of the fold this whole screen cover is flapping about it's making it extremely difficult for you to make a selfie on the rear camera. On top of that, the front cover is actually a bit loose. So you could actually leave the phone unprotected and it wobbles about. So I don't really see why such design actually has been approved. Talking about the S Pen slot, if you actually open up the whole phone, into full screen it actually creates a bit of a bothersome um, that you can't really watch your phone flat on the flat surface it actually sticks out in the middle so you have to actually make a decision whether you watch your phone like this or you have to actually take out the actual pen itself and lay it flat it just doesn't make sense I mean the two biggest achievement I have to say that this has made, this cover has made, is that you got a slot to slot in your S Pen, um, the Fold Edition, and also it protects the phone itself. Um, I have to admit visually it looks very sleek, but uh, it's a total fail. So therefore what I have decided to do is get a silicon cover from the official Samsung brand so let's get into the unboxing of this and see the difference so here it goes all right so you can already see the silicon cover is already thinner but i enough said let's actually take out the actual package itself so you got simple instructions which you don't really need to read it it's straightforward isn't it um so we got the front side and the backside so they say it's silicon but it's kind of hard actually um, which is nice and we've got the Samsung logo on it and it goes well with my green fold because it's actually slightly different color it's shiny but this one is actually a bit more subtle isn't it so if we were to apply that that's really nice now uh, what's this uh, we've got some sticker here right so there's an adhesive here which I need to make sure I carefully peel it out and then we just place it in straight away. Ah, okay, so you can actually uh, wiggle about a bit, but that's all finished and good to go. Look at that. I love that. You know what? That's way better, way better than this horrible, horrible. Um, case it looks attractive but in reality look at that I mean that sums up doesn't it the front cover while as this one we can see is very nicely done it add a bit of a thickness to it but still it's way better obviously if you want to take a selfie um, all you need to do is just press that and then you can actually um, take a photo let's try that again and then we can actually take a selfie there so no problem with that and it's well lie it down oh, actually that's a bit wobbly but still it's better than this one you see what i mean so that's a really nice product and we also have the genuine samsung logo in it as well so well done for that and i'm really happy with this um, Samsung case for Fold Z Fold 3. So I hope this video actually clarify what this case is about. But if you have any queries, um, please do comment below and I'll come back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LGB Tech. All the best. Bye bye.